In this video, we're going to discuss uh, the derivative of tangent of x and how we can find it. So first thing, recall that tangent of x is sine of x over cosine of x. We're going to use that fact to get this derivative. Also remember that the domain of f of x, of tangent of x, is all reals except x cannot equal any integer multiples of pi over 2. Pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, negative pi over 2, those are all places that make cosine 0, so they're places we have to exclude from our domain. Now let's go ahead and find our derivative by applying the quotient rule to our quotient here. So, quotient rule says it's the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared. Now let's find those derivatives. So, cosine of x times derivative of sine is cosine minus sine of x. Derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x all over cosine squared of x. Now, notice what's going to happen on top. I've got a cosine squared x multiplying these two together and a negative times a negative will give me plus sine squared x all over cosine squared x. And notice what we have here. This is the Pythagorean identity. Cosine squared x plus sine squared x will be 1. So this is 1 over cosine squared x. So that makes this thing a lot simpler. So the derivative of tangent is 1 over cosine squared x or, remember, 1 over cosine x equals secant x. So another way we could write this derivative is secant squared x. So, we get that we could write the derivative of tangent of x as 1 over cosine squared x or secant squared x, depending on what's easier for us to use. Last thing we want to look at is for what values is f prime of x defined? f prime of x is going to have the same domain, so domain of f prime is the same as f because we need because cosine once again is in the denominator we need to exclude all the integer multiples of pi over 2 so the derivative has the same domain as the original function in this case.